What's going on, guys? Chris Chavez here with Fandra.com, taking a look at the Honor 8. This is a, uh, I guess, Huawei or Honor. Their brand new flagship for the US. Uh, previously, they had the Honor 5X, which was kind of announced at CES. And this is their latest device. It's supposed to be comparable with other premium high end flagship devices on the market today. And um, just, you know, a lot, a lot more wallet friendly. So, first thing 5.2 inch full AD. 10H, 1080p display. Um, it's pretty vibrant, and it almost looks like AMOLED the first time you you know you check it out. Uh, it's got some cool little software tweaks where you can adjust the warmth of the display and things like that. Uh, really, really nice. I'm actually really, really impressed with this display. Um, not everyone needs you know quad HD, especially if you're not going to be doing any VR stuff. Um, also inside, you have a Kirin 950 processor, which is very comparable to the Snapdragon 820. Um, in terms of speed and all that fun stuff, and I'm talking this thing is super duper quick. I've been doing you know side by side comparisons, opening apps at the same time with the OnePlus 3, which uses a Snapdragon A20, and like the Galaxy S7 and whatnot. And this was able to not only keep up, but in many instances, this was uh, even quicker. And the OnePlus 3 right now is sort of my benchmark as far as uh, the quickest smartphones go. Four gigabytes of DDR4 RAM for multitasking. Um, a lot of apps just you know will stay open in the background, which is cool. Um, or I guess once you tweak the software so it does, it's not so aggressive in killing them. Uh, you have a fingerprint sensor here on the back. It's super duper quick. Uh, supposedly about 0.4 seconds response time. Um, and I mean, it's, geez, it's fast. Uh, it's right up there with the OnePlus 3, which was, again, the quickest fingerprint sensor that I've used. And this is just as fast as that. Uh, 3000 milliamp hour battery inside which is nice, um, not too big, not too small, and they do keep the phone rather thin, um, and it gives you pretty much all day battery life, although I haven't really been able to test that out too much. Uh, 32 gigabytes or 64 gigabytes of internal storage, um, but it does come with a micro SD card slot as well. I think it's up to 128 gigabytes if you want to expand the memory further. You also have 12 megapixel dual cameras here in the back, uh, very similar to the P9, which was announced a few months ago. Um, it basically, one takes a photo in full color, the other one takes a picture in monochrome, or just black and white, and it combines those two images to give you something with a little more dynamic range and less noise and all that fun stuff. Uh, the end result, I've been using it, pictures look really, really good, uh, but I guess you'll have to wait for the full review before we can, you know, analyze those further. Uh, you do have NFC which is great for Android Pay or, you know, other NFC-enabled stuff. Uh, Type-C, USB Type-C here at the bottom. It's not micro-USB. There is quick charging, but it's one of Huawei's proprietary methods, which is a little frustrating. Um, you do get a headphone jack as well, which, I mean, we probably wouldn't even mention, but apparently these are going to be going away soon, so that's nice. Uh, and they also added an IR blaster there. Really, really handy, a feature that we love, and it's sad to see... Um, many modern day flagships kind of just forgetting about. Uh, it's running off of EMUI 4.1, which is uh, a skin on top of Android 6.0 Marshmallow. It's very much like iOS in terms of design, uh, but there are some pretty nice little software tweaks and stuff. It's very, very aggressive on the RAM management. When you turn off the display, it pretty much kills all the background apps, which is a little bit frustrating, but there are ways to tweak that and you can turn that off um, if you don't really feel the need for it. Um, it's a little bit weird, but Honor tells us that uh, with EMUI 5.0, which is coming out a little bit later this year, they have tweaked it and given it more of a stock Android look as far as like notifications and maybe even like the recent button and stuff. So we look forward to checking that out. But for now, that is the Honor 8. It'll cost you $400 in the US. 450 for the 64 gigabyte and then 400 for the 32 gigabyte. Um, but depending on where you buy it from, whether it's uh, B&H Photo, Amazon, Best Buy, those places, you'll get a $50 gift card um, from their respective retailers. If you buy it directly from Honor, you get $50 off the phone immediately. That's that's kind of it. This is the Honor 8. Be on the lookout for a full review in the coming days with Fandra.com. I'm Chris Jobs. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.